Rack's Atmos Core for MSFS 2024 is a visual tweaking utility. So it's inevitable that there's going to be an endless conversation about something that is ultimately subjective, which is looks. And that's not something new either. But there's always been a market for it. If you remember in P3D, we had PTA, the prepared tweak assistant. We've shared profiles left and right back then. And on the x 11 side of things, I remember a lot of Lua scripts that allow you to change your Rayleigh scattering, your distant fog settings. We even have add-ons like x ambience, for example. So treat the following comparisons not as a showcase of realism, but more of a showcase of what's possible if you sit down and tweak the settings and make your own profiles. Because if you really want to, you could make your sim look like this, or this, it's all possible. So for folks who love to tinker and tweak things, I know firsthand that your tolerance for software quirks is quite high. But for the more casual users, the following might be a bit of a headache, especially if it's your first time using Atmos. The sliders are this long, but the true functional range of these sliders only reside in small chunks. And I say functional because again, this is all subjective, you do you. But let's ground ourselves a little bit. No one's realistically going to want their sim to look like this. So the usable range of these sliders are in tiny chunks, which makes fine tuning and small adjustments such a chore. So either give us like YouTube-like fine adjustments, you know, when you pull up on the playhead on the YouTube video, you could scrub finer on the video. Or if you don't want to go through the trouble, just give us the option to type the values that would solve it just as well but other than that i love that i could change the brightness of the clouds change how deep blue the sky is by adjusting the scattering i also love that i could change the global exposure i can even introduce some kind of distant haze and then adjust the colors But yeah, all in all, it's a pretty neat utility. You could really hone in on a specific look for your sim. It's not going to be for everybody. It has a certain audience. But if you are the target audience for it, I think you'll enjoy this. You just have to sit down, you know, spend time, deal with the quirks a little bit, 
and you can really fine tune that look that you want. Or if you don't want to deal with all that, there's already a lot of community presets out there, whatever works for you. So Rex Atmos Core is available for $14 in different flight sim stores. And if you own the 2020 version and buying it on the same store, an automatic 50% discount will be applied, so around $7. So let us know in the comments, do you have Atmos? Are you enjoying it? Or you just don't care for it at all? This is Emmanuel from FS Elite. Thank you for watching. Happy flying. Bye-bye.